Welcome to Fukushima. My name is Norio Hashimoto. I'm the director of the International Affairs Division at the Prefecture Government. The International Affairs Division is in charge of the JET program in Fukushima Prefecture. I'm looking forward to meeting you in Tokyo and Fukushima. Hi everybody, my name is Kevin. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. Hey everyone, my name is Lockie Tranta and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Um, I came to the JET program in 2010. Uh, this is my third year on the program. Uh, I came to Fukushima in December 2011. Um, I love Fukushima because the people here are very nice and generous. and you can see behind me there's a nature, the river and mountains. I'm sure you'll love the spirit and the courage that the people have shown post the disaster. There's still a lot of work to be done, but they're really positive and are really uh, moving forward uh, with the disaster despite all the challenges. That's what I love. I am the CIR and PA in Fukushima Prefecture. I am based in Fukushima International Association. There are four PAs in Fukushima, two Japanese PAs and two English PAs. What we do is we try to help you sort out any difficulties or problems you might have with this contracting organization or little issues that you might have in daily life. However, I won't be here when you guys arrive, I'm, but I'm sure my successor will take my torch and help you guys out. Currently, I am Anyways, the CIR and PA Prefectural Advisor uh, based in the Prefectural Office you can see behind me in Fukushima City. Hi everyone! Hi everyone! My name is Yasunori Oshima. I'm a Prefectural Advisor. I'm in charge of that program. I hope you will enjoy Fukushima life very much. I'm really looking forward to seeing you at in Fukushima. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Aisino. I am from International Affairs Division. I am in charge of the JET program and I am one of the Japanese prefecture advisor. I am looking forward to meeting you all. My name is Carlene, I am from the island of Barbados and I represent the Kempoku area. August of 2011. I, li I like pretty much everything. I like, well, I'm in Kempoku, so I'm in Fukushima City. So I'm in the city, so I can, there's lots to do, there's food, there's lots of restaurants if you like that, there's places to hang out, it's on the Shinkansen line, so you can go to Koryama, or to, easily to Tokyo, or up to Sendai, but there's also, it's, it's also very picturesque, so you can be in the city, and in 30 minutes you can be on a mountain, or you could head to like Iwaki, to the coast, or anything like that, so there's lots to do, there's lots of variety, and I think I really like that. Fukushima, 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 my name is Fanny Maria Tavolta. I'm from New Zealand and I represent the Kenshu area. I arrived in Japan in August 2010 and I was originally placed in Tomio Kamachi, but due to the natural disaster, I have since then moved to Ishikawa Machi, still in Fukushima. In Fukushima, what I love most is probably the people. They are very kind and friendly and they've been welcoming since day one. 
What I love about my region is the people and also the different festivals that we have um, where we can learn a lot about the Japanese culture and we can try a lot of different um, Japanese cuisines and sometimes they have Western food as well, like um, Mexican food. Hi, my name is Steven. I'm from America and I represent the Kenon area of Fukushima. I came to Fukushima in August of 2011. What I love about Fukushima is how close the people have stayed to their tradition as the Old North. How open and how friendly everyone can be at any time to any person. It's a great community. The best thing about living in Kenon is the small villages that you find all scattered throughout the region. Each one has its great restaurants, sites, temples, all kinds of things that you can discover. Fukushima, Fukushima. Hello, my name is David. I'm from America and I live in the Soso area. I came to Fukushima in August of 2012. What I love about Fukushima is that the nature here is so beautiful and just as beautiful as the hearts of everyone that's living here. Everyone is so kind and nice. Um, the Sosa region has been one of the uh, biggest affected areas due to the disaster earthquake, so I love helping and seeing the children's smiles once again. and I am from the United States of America, specifically Florida, and I am located in Iwaki. Um, I got here, what, August 6th of 2012. Um, I think it's got a lot of natural beauty, so when you're traveling throughout the Ken, you can see a lot of um, old-style houses with fields and mountains in the background, so it's very picturesque. And at the same time, you can go into the cities and there's lots of what, shopping, and karaoke, whatever. So, it's a lot of fun. So, I live in Iwaki and it's on the coast. So, that means the summers are nice and cool and the winters aren't as bad. So, sometimes it'll snow, but it's never enough that you have to shovel or you can't go to work or anything. So, it's a really nice climate. And also, Iwaki is really big. So that means you can go to a lot of different places that are interesting within the area, as well as get to major cities like Tokyo, Fukushima, Kodayama, or Sendai. So it's very convenient. August of 2011, right after the disaster happened. Um, I really enjoy the natural beauty of Fukushima. It reminds me a lot of Canada with all the mountains and forests and rivers and things. And the people here are very friendly uh, because the population isn't so big. Um, so a lot of the people are very excited to see a foreigner come and stay in Fukushima. If you've heard anything about Fukushima before you've arrived, it's probably from Aizu. We've got the origin of the Akabeko legend is in Yanaizu. <laughs> Hello, 
Well, my name's Tommy, I'm from England, and I represent Minami Aizu. I came to Fukushima in August of 2011. And the thing I love about Fukushima is being able to help the people after the disaster, and also the local community are very friendly too. The best thing about living in my area is I get to mix with some of the children who wouldn't otherwise get to mix with foreign people, and um, I like to be able to snowboard in the winter too.